The most dangerous remnant after a war occurs is an unexploded landmine. Anti-personnel landmines are designed to injure or kill enemies, but sometimes civilians can become victims. Today in this video, we will learn about the working of an anti-personnel landmine. Without wasting any more time, let's get started. To understand the workings of an anti-personnel landmine, we'll learn about its key components and mechanisms. These mines are engineered to be simple yet devastatingly effective. The primary triggering mechanism of many anti-personnel landmines is the pressure plate. The pressure plate is locked with a safety clip to prevent it from activating during transportation. This component lies on the top surface of the mine, flush with the ground, and is designed to be sensitive to a specific amount of pressure, typically equivalent from 9 to 16 kilograms. To arm the landmine, dial back the mode of pressure plate from safe to armed, and then remove the safety clip. And then, when someone steps on the pressure plate, the force compresses a small, spring-loaded mechanism underneath. This compression overcomes the resistance of a spring or similar device, allowing the pressure plate to move downward. As the pressure plate moves downward, it activates the next critical component, the firing pin. The firing pin then strikes the detonator, a small but highly sensitive explosive component. The impact of the firing pin on the detonator initiates a small explosion, which is crucial for triggering the main explosive charge. At the core of the landmine is the main explosive charge, usually composed of TNT or a similar high explosive material. The small explosion from the detonator generates enough heat and pressure to ignite the main explosive charge. This main charge then detonates, creating a powerful explosion. The resulting explosion releases an immense amount of energy capable of causing severe injuries or fatalities within its effective range. Thank you for watching the video.